it's Chris and Ryobi makes this 18 volt uh, hybrid transfer pump it runs on the 18 volt batteries or it will run on an AC power brick but I was thinking what if we made it run on solar the pump can be run off 18 volt batteries or off this power brick uh, there's a like four foot hose and a screened uh, suction attachment it says it can transfer up to 325 gallons an hour. Um, I'm gonna do a height test to see if I raise the water 10 feet or so, how many gallons a minute it will pump. But it comes with a three year warranty. I've got the new Ryobi hybrid pump. So there's a cover in the back here and you can either plug in a power supply or you can put in a battery. It clips in there. It's an extremely noisy pump though. It comes with a nice input foot. That's a screened input. And it's probably four or five feet of hose that you can stick in. They give you a pretty hefty heat point. 3818 volt power supply that has a sort of a standard microphone connector plug on it. It plugs into the back of the pump uh, and you can't put the AC and the battery in at the same time. The battery covers over the spot where the plug goes in. With this AC, if you unplug it and then plug it back in, you don't seem to have to reset the switch. It takes a second and then it will go back on. I did a quick test filling a five gallon bucket with a 5 8 inch hose and it took one minute and five seconds. So that comes out to about 277 gallons an hour. I repeated the test by putting the bucket on top of an 8 foot ladder, which is actually 90 inches above ground. The pump still did reasonably well. It took 1 minute and 22 seconds to fill it. That comes out to 220 gallons an hour. The pump takes 5.74 amps to run. I have these rich solar 100 watt uh, 12 volt flexible panels. I've got two of them, so it's 200 watts. These 100 watt flexible panels have a BMP or maximum power voltage of 18.5 volts, which fits right in with the range for IOBI, which is 15 volts to 21 volts. You'll need at least two panels in parallel to provide the amperage required by the pump. I took an old battery that was bad out of the recycle bin and I just soldered on some wire and then I connected uh, MC4 connectors to it so I can connect it to the solar panels. I thought I'd see if I could run it off my old solar panels here. The problem I have is that every time a cloud goes over the pump stops, then you have to recycle the switch to get... But as soon as you shade the panel at all, it slows down. And if it gets too shady, it will just stop. For my second attempt, I'm going to make up an XLR cable that's similar to the one from the power brick. I picked these up at Amazon and I'm going to wire them up to MC4 connectors so I can hook them to the solar panel. Okay, the red positive wire goes into pin number one. You can see the label on the end here. solder that
black negative wire goes to pin number two on the connector. Connector slips into the case here, and then this clamp comes in, and then it's screwed down to tighten it up. Next, I'm going to solder up the two MC4 plugs. Clip in and you slide these bushings on, and then the caps screw on, make a watertight connection. This is the XLR connector connected to the solar panels. I've got the two solar panels mounted in parallel here. If there's not enough sun, and you turn it on, it just beeps and the light here flashes. You could of course add more solar panels, but I was trying to keep the thing pretty portable. Well, I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't work with solar when the clouds come by, because turning the switch on and off is kind of a pain, but it does work really well on a nice sunny day. If anybody has any ideas on how to get around the switch issue, please let me know. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.